This is John and Corey coming to you live tonight. We are on Facebook Live and we are coming to you from the Golden Tower of the Fisher Building in downtown Detroit. This is Plastic Surgery Next Generation. I'm your host, John Akori, and joining us as always is the one, the only, the fantabulous Dr. Mazen Haraki. How you doing, John? This is going to be the first live injection on air in Michigan for contouring the cheeks using Voluma. I, I can't wait. I'm going to turn it right over to you, Dr. Haraki. So we're going to start by doing a patient assessment. So when we analyze a patient's face, we usually start from top to bottom in okay. a very systematic fashion. We start by splitting up the face in thirds. Upper third goes from the hairline to the brow. Middle third is from the brow to the base of the nose. And the lower third is from the base of the nose to the chin. Now, as we age, common location of where we lose volume is in the cheeks. And as we continue to lose volume, uh, the ligaments start to sag. And you start to see deflation and loss of volume in the mid face and outer cheek. So first, we're going to analyze our patient's uh, face, and we're going to focus on the mid face. This is a live human patient right here live in patient. the studio. This is the first time this has ever been done. Okay. So we're using Voluma, uh, an Allergan product. It's reversible, safe, a product that we inject. It's indicated for the, for the cheek area. So before we start, we're going to start analyzing. So when you look at Sarah's mid face, you start to see that the outer cheek, if you split it up into several zones, we have the outer cheek and the inner cheek. The outer cheek starts to lose volume, so you can start to see the zygomatic arch, the bone. And as you work your way to the uh, inner cheek, we have loss of volume in this area. She has great features, but with loss of volume, things start to sag and work their way downward. And then you start to get deepening of the folds, which is the nasolabial fold. So. Our goal is to replenish the volume and to lift and anchor the cheek such that we give improvement in definition. So uh, a youthful face looks like an egg. It's wider in the mid face, more narrow at the lower third. As we age, that egg becomes upside down. Why? Because we start to sag, uh, skin laxity, you get less definition. The goal is to augment the mid third so that we have a wider middle third simply by placing volume. So now we're going to start with uh, marking. What we're witnessing right now is an actual live patient here in the studio that Dr. Haraki is marking in preparation for a facial injection. The product has lidocaine in it. It's safe. You don't need any numbing cream. You don't need any prior numbing injection. And all these spots are, they're close to the bone where we put the product. It's safe. It's away from nerves. It's away from any neurovascular blood supply or potential injuries to anything in the surrounding area. So it's very safe and methodical. And the goal is to look rejuvenated, fresh, not augmented. My goal is to inject the entire right side, wipe it, and compare that right side to the left side, filled and not filled. So this way you can see them side by side and see how that looks. Oh, All right, let's do this. so let's we're going to start by cleaning up the area and just putting a little bit of alcohol. So right over where we marked, got to make sure the area is nice and clean. Not to be fearful, okay. it's going to feel like a little scratch. Okay. No pain because it's got lidocaine in it. So you're going to hold still. We're going to start with the outer cheek and work our way in. And very gentle. Silence. Very good. And uh, she's doing fantastic. She's uh, nice and calm. Do you have any pain? No? And you can start to see the contour very gentle, very subtle. And uh, so it's very safe. We're on the bone. And you are done on this side. An amazing procedure that just took place Wanna right here at WJR in the studio, live on Facebook. And patient, give me a thumbs up. Give me a nod. Give me something. Let me know. She said it looks great. All right, he's hit a home run. Look at the curve right here. It, the zygomatic arch comes down, it curves, and then it continues very subtle. And if you put your finger on it, you really can't feel it because it's on the bone. Uh, very subtle. Uh, the goal is to look rejuvenated, refreshed. If someone were to look at her and say, I don't know what she had done, but she looks great, we did a good job. 
That's the goal. All right. You don't want to look augmented. You want to look rejuvenated. And I think she did fabulous. I think that what we did here today is unprecedented. A live procedure in studio, the Haraki Institute of Plastic and Reconstructive and Aesthetic Surgery, an all new state of the art with cutting edge 3D technology plastic surgery practice. 